Hey guys, science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, what will happen the next time you and your special person will see each other. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, so things are a little bit tense, or things will get a little bit intense, okay? Um, next time you guys see each other, it feels like this person here has a message for you, and it feels like you have um, a message for this person. It feels like the both of you are either eager to communicate, or it just feels like you're trying to... You, you're both trying to reach each other, or you're both trying to get access to something within each other that you feel like you don't have. If things are a little bit tense between the both of you right now, if they're a little bit awkward, if you guys are not talking, if you're going through something, if you've disconnected, if, you know, there's just a bit of turbulence in the energies here. So if you're going through a little, you know, a little uncomfortable or awkward phase, it feels like this person is trying to pretend. They're playing it cool. They're trying to pretend like they're not being phased by it. They're trying to pretend like they're not bothered by it. But they are, okay? But they are. And I feel like, um, you know, you can sort of... I guess you can sort of intuitively pick up on that as well. Um, I feel like you, I feel like either you've messaged this person and they haven't responded or they've responded rather aggressively or I just feel like maybe perhaps this person, I just feel like someone here has a very um, powerful message for someone. I'm also seeing that there may be a third party situation that you and this person have um, or are involved with okay so they may be attached or in a relationship with someone else but it feels like they have developed some pretty intense romantic feelings for you okay could be you you could be the one that's in a relationship with someone else um, you could be committed to someone else but you seem to have developed some pretty intense feelings for this person um, and maybe because I do get you know the five of ones energy I get this conflict or I get this tension okay it doesn't necessarily have to equate to the both of you arguing uh, sorry arguing or being in disagree uh, in disagreement with each other it doesn't necessarily translate to the both of you fighting um, you know or at a um, sort of at a discord with one another it can it very well can it, you know most definitely can but the five of ones could seem to indicate that there is an opposition involved that there is an um an energy that is opposing all of this okay so a third party situation um you know someone that is um maybe a close connecting family or friend that knows that you're in a third party situation and you know they're trying to oppose this they're trying to tell you don't go there don't do this you'll only get your heart broken or if this is your person that's what's going on with them um it could be like you know th there's someone or something here that is getting in the way or that very well is strongly in the way of things so it feels like with with regards to this connection things either have started very quickly and very intensely and then it feels like it's sort of slowed down this person may have pulled away from you but i think it's only sort of to give themselves a bit of a breather because they do feel things very intensely with you okay this person is very attracted to you this person is very drawn to you so the next time that you guys do see each other i feel like things might get really um intense um, it might, they might get hot and heavy, um, there may be a lot of passion here, but I don't necessarily, if this is a third party situation, I don't necessarily see that this person has made a choice, I don't think that they've made a choice to leave the third party, I don't think they've made a choice to, you know, either stay with you or stay with this person, and I do think that the next time you see each other, things might get a little bit, um, uncomfortable in the sense that you, you might, you know, you might be upset with what it is that they say, or you might be upset with how the whole turn of events, um, how everything sort of unfolds. It just feels like someone here is very um, upset or very frustrated or very annoyed or just very bothered 
by you know this person's lack of efforts or this person's um you know lack of emotions um I'm also seeing perhaps the next time that you guys do see each other, I feel like there's going to be light. Light is going to be shed on some very dark, um, on either a dark topic or on, on something that has been, um, that has been kept in the dark. Okay, so they may share with you something that they have, um, a secret that they've been hiding. Or you, you know, next time you see this person... Um, you might find out that, hey, you're, you know, they've put you in a third party situation or they might find that out about you. It just feels like, you know, someone sh is shining a light onto, you know, um, either the, you know, shining a light on the, to the dark aspects of the nature of this connection, the nature of this relationship, or shining a light onto some of the darker aspects of the individual self, or perhaps the toxicity of all of this relationship, okay? Maybe it's not necessarily... The devil doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's a third party situation. It could for someone else because much like the lovers, it's also about making a choice. Okay, so making a choice between two very different people, making a choice between something that, you know, gives you instant gratification um, and weighing that up against the long term, um, you know, the long term harm. Um, it could also represent, the devil could represent an ex. So the person that's on your mind right now could be an ex. It could be someone that you've had history with. Okay, it could be an ex fling that you far flung um but it could also be a toxic relationship one in which you guys are so you know this the both of you are so addicted and so consumed with one another that unfortunately it's become unhealthy it's you know you're both so co-reliant or co-dependent upon um each other it feels like this is more lust than love, this connection, okay? That's not to say that it won't eventuate into love. It's not to say that it doesn't have the potential, you know, for this to grow into love. Just right now with the energies, it feels like this is really, um, it's more like infatuation, lust. Um, there's a lot of chemistry, okay? There's a lot of intense uh, energies. But there's also, from what I'm seeing, and I could be wrong, but from what I'm seeing, there's... An inability of someone wanting to move things forward so even though the relationship started off very intensely and things you know got off to a great start but it just feels like it's stalled it's stagnated and it feels like someone is purposely doing this because they might be afraid to move things forward they might not be ready to move things forward they might be in a relationship and you know um, purely not wanting to move um, things forward just wanting to keep it at that um, I do, okay, someone may have temper tantrums here, someone may have temper issues, so the next time you see this person, either they might get you upset, they might get you very emotionally frustrated, you might be raising your voice at this person, you might have a heated conversation or a heated debate in which, you know, the both of you really disagree um, on something with regards to this relationship, maybe the whole, you know, how the whole thing is um, panning out. I'm also seeing that there's something here that they might say to you, okay, that might change how, and I do mean, like, entirely change how you see them, okay, or how you view the relationship, the connection altogether. That could mean that something, you know, that is hidden in the dark, as I was saying, a secret perhaps, gets exposed, okay, and gets dragged out into the light. Something that they've kept hidden from you, something that they've concealed from you, something that kept you in the dark about all of a sudden comes to the light. And... You know, all of a sudden, you see this person for who they really are, and who they really are isn't exactly who you really thought they were. Um, or they might say something that all of a sudden will really put you off them, and you know, they might come across as very, you know, egotistical and um, very self conceited, and you might just, you know, not be at all attracted to that kind of um, person. So it's something that they may say to you, okay, might really um, just make you not only see them differently but make you very it might also make you um make you feel very differently about them too and about the whole situation and it might something that they say might finally get you to sort of it might push you away from them okay it might put you off them and it might get you to start working on yourself more start focusing on yourself more because the the dev uh, the the devil here has the wings of a bat right the baphomet the devil has got the wings of a bat 
a bat is a creature that sucks the life force out of its prey and there's something about this connection that is toxic that is draining now you might not agree to it but you certainly feel the implications of it you certainly feel that it's tiresome you certainly feel that it's exhausting whether emotionally or physically or mentally okay and it's sort of draining and the longer you stay in this the more energy that you know it's going to take away from you okay the more that it's going to deprive you of your happiness or of your um energy so and then i think finally i think the next time that you do see this person or that you talk to this person i feel like you're finally going to see that you're finally going to see you know just how unhealthy and how draining it is and you're finally going to see that you need to focus on you more instead of giving all your energy to this person Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye.